And the final type of pressure questions we could end up with for the year are ideal gas questions. Okay, so this is when um, we have gases that are at ideal circumstances, so non-radical. So it's not extreme highs, not extreme lows, and we can assume that gas behaves in a normal fashion. Okay, in order to solve a question like this, unlike the other equations which had beginning and ends, these just have one. So one pressure, one volume. So we have P, V, N, R, T, okay? We need to get all of these variables. Now, there's a couple ways to do this, okay? And there's a couple units we have to pay very close attention to. Number one is we need to read the question and see what is it asking us for? So it says, most humans have a lung capacity of four liters. Assuming you can breathe pure oxygen, how many moles of oxygen, well moles is N, so this is what we're solving for right here, of oxygen, can your lungs hold at 37 degrees Celsius body temperature and 110 kilopascals of pressure? So a couple things we need to know about units if we're gonna do anything with uh, PV equals NRT. Number one, we need to get our R value. That's never gonna be given to us, so we have to know what it is. In our notes, we use the R value of 0 0.0821, and that's ATMs times liters over moles times K. Now you might think to yourself, that's a really, really long unit. Well, really this unit right here just helps us fix everything that we are gonna need to fix, everything we're gonna get, need to get rid of, okay? In addition, it also tells us all of the units that these things have to be. N has to be moles. K, or sorry, temperature has to be in Kelvin. Pressure has to be in atmospheres and liters. Sorry, volume has to be in liters. So as I go through this question, I read that your lungs have the capacity to hold four liters. Well, that's exactly the unit I want for volume. So 4.0 liters, okay. Um, Assuming that you breathe pure oxygen, how many moles? Okay, 37 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna take 37 and we're gonna add 273 to that. Okay, and that gives us a grand total of 310 Kelvin, 110 kilopascals. So 110 kPa. Now, you'll notice that this is kPa and this is atmospheres. I don't want kPa, I need to get rid of it. So I'm gonna have to do some converting. If this was in milliliters, I'd have to convert this. Okay, anything I would have to convert to make sure it's in the right unit. So I'm gonna go ahead and convert this. I know the relationship between kPa and atmospheres is there are 101.3 kilopascals for every one atmosphere. So 1.09 atms. Okay, so now I have a pressure, a new pressure that I'm gonna use. I have a volume, I'm solving for number of moles, I have an R, I have a T. Okay, so my equation is PV equals NRT. But I need to rearrange that to solve for N, because that's what I want to solve for. If I rearrange that, I get that N is PV over RT. Now I can go in, plug in my numbers, and solve. Okay, now this is really nice. This is where I was talking about the units, how the units really make a whole lot of sense. I have atmospheres on the top and on the bottom. They're gonna go away. I have liters on the top and on the bottom. They're gonna go away. I have Kelvin in the numerator and the denominator of the numerator. So Kelvin's gonna go away. And I'm gonna be left with moles, which is what I'm supposed to be solving for, a number of moles. Okay, so I'm gonna solve both of these just to have a numerator and denominator that all together. So 4.36 divided by 25.421. And I get that my number of moles is equal to 0 0.2 uh, sig figs, so 0 0.17 moles. Hopefully that helps.